Hello, Worship and Arts community. It's Becca Mowry here. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you a few features on Planning Center. It has come to my attention that some of you guys didn't know about these features. And so I just want to show you how to download your songbook as well as listen to the media player through the computer here. So as you can see, I have my desktop up here. This is this week's um, plan for the August 9th service, and it's all right here. We've got all of our people in over here, and then obviously you can see the people who are in here and who are scheduled. Now you might be saying, I can't see those people. How come I don't have a person's tab all along here where it says people? See this little blue guy right here? Click on this and you can click all the different people. So maybe you don't want to see media or sound people or any of the stage notes that are in or any of the video team notes, but you do want to see maybe comments for the online team and what they're going to say if you're on that community or obviously the person who's going to be in there. So you make sure that's clicked and then you have the person so you know if you're scheduled for a song in there. All right. Then also, it's very important for you to see this little rehearse tab right here. Right here. Um, you can click on media player and the media player, as you see, is going to pop up. It should have all of your songs here. It should, will probably automatically start playing like it just did. It'll have all your songs here and uh, you'll be able to listen to a full copy. Now, only a few people will have the access to some of these guitar files. See, mine aren't even highlighted here. Um, this is if you actually pay for a rehearsal mitts login. It's a dollar ninety nine or something like that a month. Um, we do pay for our electric guitar players uh, to have this and some of our keyboard players as well, so they have access to the individual tracks, so they can hear what they want. And these tracks actually line up with what is on the playback um, track for Sunday morning. So if you're a guitar player and you're saying uh, and you want to hear those individual tracks, it's important that you're listening to those or the keyboard player for your individual tracks. But for most of us, for singers, what we're going to be listening to is just our MP3. And uh, there's also this media player on the phone app version as well. And then lastly, let me close that out. Let me just show you this because it was brought to my attention. Some of you guys didn't know this. There is a download all PDFs for the songbook option here. And so if you click on that, what will happen is you can download other PDFs, and I typically put that in there, although you shouldn't necessarily need that. That's sometimes if there's like a PDF, like a personal chart or something that maybe um, the worship leader is uploaded for your particular service. And then for me, I want capo charts because I'm a guitar player, but if you're a drummer or a vocalist, you don't need the capo chart. So you can unclick that. And then you always want to have chord chart here. You can also click lyrics if you just want the lyrics. But for our vocalists, it is important that you can see the chords in there because then you can also count where the measure breaks are, um, whether there's a four measure instrumental or if you're going to go right into the chorus. So it's always good to have some of those um, in there as well. So I'm going to just click on our chord charts here and I'm going to hit accept. And then what will happen is your computer will generate a PDF packet for you. So you don't have to go into each individual song. And then here's my songbook. It comes up at the bottom of the screen here. So I'll just click on my songbook for August. And again, this is a PDF, so you can't edit any of these. But it pulls up your PDF here. Just a minute. It should be pulling it up here. Maybe it won't pull it up because of the recording here. Um, but yeah, there we go. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, um, but if you can, you should have all your PDFs here and then you can just go ahead and print that. Let me see here. So if you have any questions, please let me know and um, Hopefully that this has been helpful and it's uh, just allowing you guys to navigate Planning Center and downloading the media player and your worship packets better. Well, have an awesome day and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye.